Hello, I will be talking about Burt's Bees during this presentation. Burt's Bees is a beauty product company focused on the importance of nature and sustainability. Their products include lip balm, skin care, makeup, shampoo and conditioners, baby products, teeth and oral care, and many more. They're just like other beauty companies though, so how do they stand out from the rest? What makes Burt's Bees stand out from the rest is their love for nature and their drive to make all of their products sustainable. So, where did it all begin? In the early 1980s, Bert Shavitz and Roxanne Quimby came together to create what is now Bert's Bees. Bert was always fascinated with nature and found a stray honeybee hive in his house in Maine. He saved up the beeswax because he knew it would one day come in handy. Bert found Roxanne and hit it off with her when he picked her up while she was hitchhiking. Bert got Roxanne fascinated with bees, and they began creating candles out of beeswax. Bert and Roxanne knew, from there on, that they would create something great. And they did. So to begin with their product. So Bert's bees loves to follow after their motto, True to Nature, which focuses on sustainability marketing. Like I mentioned before, Bert's bees products are almost 100% natural, alongside with they're no animal testing, and they're all recyclable packaging. Every product is labeled with a natural bar. Usually every product is 100% natural, but if it's not, it is 99% natural with a synthetic preservative phenocythanol. Bird's Bees has a very distinct purpose. People, profit, and the planet. You cannot have one without the other. Now if we move on to their price. So unlike many beauty product brands, Burst Bees is slightly more expensive because of its all naturalness. One single lip balm costs around $3.59 compared to many other lip balms costing only a dollar or two. If a customer is passionate about the environment though, they are usually more willing to pay for the more expensive, sustainable product. Burt's Bees though donates much of its profit through the Burt's Bees Greater Good Foundation. They have donated over $330,000 to nonprofit organizations such as the E.O. Wilson Biodiversity Foundation and the E.N.O. River Foundation. So then we move on to place. Burt's Bees can be found in almost any convenience store, including Whole Foods and Walgreens. It can also be found in Alta, which is a very popular beauty store. Many typical consumers at these stores are passionate about sustainability and the environment, and that's why Burt's Bees is sure to sell their products there. And on to promotion. Burt's Bees promotes many of its products through social media marketing. They have held many campaigns through social media that have helped promote their products. Their first one was Raise Your Burt's Campaign, where customers shared their personal stories about Burt's Bees. Burt's Bees asked their customers to post the real reason why they love Burt's Bees wax. The best post in story became the natural champion and won a lifetime supply of lip balm and the company renamed you, renamed itself after you for a week. They were also involved in a cause-based marketing campaign. This means that they addressed customer concerns that had to do with serious environmental problems. This environmental problem that they addressed was the honeybee decline in nature, the Save the Bees campaign. This campaign was named the Bring Back the Bees campaign. Earth's Bees literally took out the bees from their name, so they ended up sounding like Earth's Ease, and they wanted to raise awareness for the honeybee decline in the environment. So, unfortunately, Bert Shavitz passed away on July 5th, 2015 due to respiratory issues. After his death, the branch in Maine was no longer in use and was moved to the headquarters in Credor, North Carolina, where it's still being used. Burt's Bees is continuing to show us their passion for nature and sustainability. Something I wish they could market a little better is their shampoo and conditioner. I personally had no idea they had their products like that until I went on their website, and I believe that many people would use them if they were better informed and marketed.